Oh, right, I'm back folks. I've got uh, over an hour left on this SD card, so hopefully... Well, I'm not going to let this go on for an hour. Uh, about half an hour, I think, is uh, more than enough. So I might have to go into another part. I haven't seen how many questions I got. Right, let's start and try and be a bit more punchy with the responses. Braze Vax. Hi Roger, what's your favourite vacuum you have imported from the USA? Well, that's easy. The Hoover Concept 2 Electronic. That's a model we never got in the UK. We did get two models of Concept 1, very briefly. Very, very rare in the UK to buy. You can't get them for love nor money. Fairly common, I see, in the USA, certainly on eBay. But yes, even though we never got it, I always coveted a Hoover Concept 2. Back in the 90s, I think it was, or late 80s, when Hoover USA and Hoover UK were part of the same company, uh, Hoover UK kindly contacted Hoover USA and they sent me a load of single page leaflets on various American Hoover vacuums and I saw a lot of cleaners I wanted, the Spectrum, Cylinder, um, the Elites, all sorts, but of course the, it was the Concept 2 that I really liked. I don't think I had a, a picture of the Concept 2 electronic that I ended up buying, but there was a picture of a Concept 2 with a helpmate and it was a machine I remember seeing in Dynasty, um, one of the cleaners, the main, not well, she was a maid. I think she was called Janet, I'm not sure. Anyway, she was very pally with Blake. And there's a little, I've got, a, I've recorded it somewhere, that I've got a little clip of her using a Hoover Concept 2, and I always wanted one. So yes, my Hoover Concept 2 electronic, the one with the gray helpmate and the sort of gray pinstripe bag. That's my favorite American Hoover. Um, I won't tell you my second favourite because you've only asked for the favourite so we'll carry on. So that is definitely, I knew I'd answer that straight away. When I saw that question earlier I thought yeah, Concept 2. Uh, no, that's not answering that. Rick Hoover, what's the most dirtiest, dirtiest vacuum you've had to deal with? I can't remember. What What do you suggest You've if you've seen my videos? I mean, they've not all been too filthy, have they, Daisy? What are you after? You've had your... Oh, crikey, it's three o'clock. Um, it's not time... You know, you've got an hour until you, your tea and your dinner. Um, I can't remember. I've, I've unboxed, so I can't remember. I can't remember what I unboxed yesterday, let alone what my dirtiest cleaner was. I don't know. People, people, people comment under this video if you can remember what you think is my dirtiest. I've opened a few with muck in the bags and stuff, but I can't pinpoint it down to one model. Sorry, I can't answer that for you, Rick Hoover. Javid Ahmed, what is your favourite pneumatic vacuum cleaner? What? Oh. Well, I can answer that one, but I can't answer your number two. My favourite pneumatic vacuum cleaner, I would say, is the, well, either Henry Hound or the Henry Turbo, and that's the one with the electric head. Henry Hound and Henry Turbo are basically the same machine, but apart from the Henry Turbo is red and Henry Hound is green. So it's one of those. The one with the electric power head would be my favourite. And what's my favourite vacuum for 2021? I can't, can't think of one, I'm afraid. I can't answer that. Right, Chelsea Dugmore. Well, this is in the wrong place, but anyway, please could you do a shout out for my little boy Thomas? He is two and a half and he is, he is obsessed with Hoovers. He has actually asked for a pneumatic Henry for Christmas. Hello, Thomas. I don't know if you got a shout out when I was doing the other shout outs, but anyway, if you did, you've got another one. Um, do do do. What, it, what are your thoughts on shark hoovers? Should I swap my Henry pet for one? Well, there's plenty of shark videos you can watch. I would say a good shark cleans better. I know some people are going to go mad at me saying this, but a good shark will clean better than a Henry. I uh, assume a Henry pet, you, if you've got the Henry pet with a full-size turbo nozzle, that's a bit different. They are better than the standard 
straight suction Henry's, but really a, a mains powered shark with a mains powered brush will pick up more dirt than a Henry in one sweep. Whether it lasts as long as a Henry is debatable, but you'll see my thoughts on shark hoovers in all the shark demonstrations I've done. So as I've said in an earlier video, I did buy my sister-in-law a new shark cordless for Christmas. I decided I, that's what I chose for her. So, you know, they're okay. They've got flaws as all vacuums have, but as far as modern bagless cleaners go, I quite like them. Doran Sultan, hi Roger, why are you in, so into vacuums and washers? Not so much washers. I don't know why I'm into vacuum cleaners because it started when I was 18 months old, so I don't know why. Hasma, what cordless vac do you like to use? I like to use, I suppose the one I like to use is the Vovok VB100. It's the one I grab. It's best just for cleaning carpets and floors. I mean, it has loads of attachments for above floor cleaning. It's not very convenient for above, but for one, for a grab and go, quick whip round the house, then the Vorvirk VB, I think it's the VB100. You've not properly seen that yet. Al Bundy, do you have a wish list of vintage vacuum cleaners? I think I've, I've said it either in this video or the previous one. So it's mainly Hoovers from the 80s that uh, I would like. There's some 70s ones. I haven't got a Hoover convertible. And as in convertible, I mean the UK version of a convertible, which was called Dilematic in the USA. So I'd quite like one of those. Um, probably a UK version of the portable, which I did used to have two of those. And a UK version of the Hoover Power Drive upright. Um, Abir Chowdhury, when will you upload the video on the Alpina Trier Boost? This year! That's all I can say. I don't know when because I've not made a video of it yet. James the Vacuum Kid, have you ever had a Dyson DC07? Could you do one on the channel? Yes, I have and probably not. I don't intend on buying another one. I'm not answering that. I've answered it. Um, Christian, can you tell us a bit about the day you went to Hoover when it was at Perivale? Would be nice to hear some anecdotes. Well, I went to visit the Hoover head office in Perivale. I can't remember the year, but I was still at school and it was part of a work, work experience, but it was only a day trip. We were supposed to choose somewhere we'd like to visit. So I picked the Hoover building in Perivale. Um, my teacher says, well, how are you going to get there? It's in London. And I said, well, I get free train travel so I can get there. OK, it's fine. So I went there for the day. So I think it was my teachers um, or teacher contacted Hoover to arrange it. So I got on the train on my own from where I used to live in East Grinstead, got the train up to London, Victoria. And on from London, Victoria, I took the underground train to Perivale, which is the last stop. I don't know what line it is. It's, you know, different lines. Um, then eventually found the building. It wasn't the main building I went to first. It was another building behind. Asked for the gentleman I was supposed to see. I can't remember his name. Um, so he was the first employee of Hoover I chatted to. And then basically I was sort of shown around various different areas of the Hoover building. They weren't manufacturing vacuums back then. The production had moved, but they still had the head office design and um, testing and things. So um, I don't remember a lot about it. I went to see a man from marketing. So I sat in his office for a bit, looked through some brochures of machines that weren't launched yet. I was given um, uh, two packs of Hoover data cards. I've still got one of them. Um, so basically a little, little sort of playing card cards with Hoover washers and vacuums on in this wallet that pulls out. I've probably shown it on my channel. Um, then, so he showed me some brochures and I pointed out, I remember pointing out a, a new power head. I said, oh, that's new. And it was the first time I'd seen 
the turbo 300 electric power head on a Hoover Compact. And then from his office, in the next room next to his office, there was a dark room without any windows with a big TV and I watched some vintage Hoover commercials for a bit, including one from the for the Hoover Starlight, very, it was about a three minute commercial, and uh, one for something else, can't remember, but they, they're the two I remember. Uh, I had lunch in the restaurant part, which is now an actual restaurant. The Hoover building is now apartments. There is a Tesco store at the back and at the front there are actually apartments you can buy. But there's a separate building that used to be the canteen of Hoover employees and that's now a restaurant. So I went in there, I, can't, I was quite nervous throughout the day, I didn't really want to eat much. The only thing I remember eating was mint choc chip ice cream. I must have had something before that. And in the afternoon I, was, uh, I saw another man who was more in the, involved with sort of fixing problems of cleaners and he had a few old machines, you know, old juniors, really old ones and there was lots of hoses hung up. I don't remember much about that. Um, I remember going up the stairs of the Art Deco building and where the main offices were there was a big sort of foyer up the stairs and it had a big display of what was the latest machines of the time, the Hoover Sensatronics. Not the first generation, this is the second generation, systems 10 to 20 and they're all on individual, I've got photographs somewhere, they're all on little individual plinths and there was a couple of plants and spotlights and a big picture at the back. And that's about, about it, that's all I remember, it was just a day trip. It was, uh, it was nice, uh, nice to visit and I'm glad I'm glad I went there when it's still Hoover. I've been there a few times after, you know, but after it had changed and I've been in the Tesco behind and I've obviously, I've been back and looked at it and it's now called the Hoover Building. When I went, when it was still a place of work for Hoover, it actually said Hoover Limited on the outside. Why don't you do, Josh HD, why don't you do your Amazon wish list? I just felt a bit uneasy about receiving gifts from people, that's all. I've had, you know, people have been very generous in the past, I've explained this. Um, very nice people to give me stuff, but it didn't always sit very, it was, I just, mm, I know some people find it quite easy to get free stuff, but it's, it never sat easy with me. I know people wanted me to do it and, were, and wanted to show their appreciation of my channel by buying me something. And that's lovely, you know, very grateful for the people that did buy me something, but I decided I didn't want to do that anymore. So um, I just don't, that's why I don't do it. That's why famous and rich celebrities now buy my Christmas presents. <clears throat> Thomas von Satko, hey, my question is this, yes or no? No. There. Actually, I just wanted to wish Merry Christmas to you and your loved ones. Greetings from Finland. Thank you very much. Obviously, Christmas is all gone now. I've still got my tree up, but it's coming down on the 5th, I think it is, the 5th of January. Kirbyfan1198, what's your oldest cleaner by Electrolux? I can't remember the model number. Is it, is it a model 100? I can't remember. It's, I think it's the one, it's in really good condition. It's got, it's sort of a beigey colour with maroon end caps and metal, metal, uh, oh, it's that, oh no, probably Bakelite, sort of burgundy colour tools. It's that one, but I can't remember what the model is, but that's, I think that's the oldest one. How many Hoovers do you have, says Josh HD? I don't know. <laughs> uh, hundreds. Uh. Right, that's not really about vacuums, so I won't answer that. Uh, Johan Nell, are you going to make any more car show vacuum videos? I might. No plans on buying any new car show vacuums. Not, not a huge fan, to be honest. Uh, we've done that one. Why don't you make robot vacuum videos too much? 
well you should never do anything too much because people get sick of them I've answered this previously to demonstrate a robot vacuum you need an uncluttered house and plenty of free space for it to do its stuff at the moment my house is too cluttered to demonstrate the several robotic vacuums I have but as soon as I get my clutter under control which hopefully will be in a few months then I'll start to make robot vacuum videos again um, probably sell most of the ones I've demonstrated not answering that because that is my <laughs> that is the question I hate being asked and I've always said don't ask me that question so I'm not ask, asking it answering right I've answered that one Dear me. All right. Uh, Glenn Passmore. Hi, Roger. Was it you who bought a Panasonic footstool from us? Many thanks and Merry Christmas, Glenn and Wayne. I don't know if I bought it from you. I did buy one from someone, but it, it was one I used to have myself. So if you are the people that bought it off me in the first place and then I bought it back from you, then yes. Um, I haven't shown it on my channel, but I've got a national Panasonic capsule, it's called. It looks like a little footstool with an orange padded top. All the tools stored inside. I had one back in the day. I remember selling it. And then one came back up on eBay. I don't know, maybe two years ago now, I can't remember. I thought, oh, I'd, I'd like that again. So I won the, won the auction. And then I discovered that it was the one that I used to own. The Super Henry and Hetty Brothers. Which pneumatic vacuum is better? 2008 Henry or Hetty Extra? Hetty Extra. There we go. Jeremiah Castro with the Nerf Rival Charger. Do any vacuum cleaners you tested... Do they clog well you doing a mess test? Mo a lot of them do clog up, mainly bagless clogs up, but they're not designed to pick up a load of dirt in one go. Most vacuum cleaners aren't designed to pick up mess test types of dirt. It's too much mess. It's just a bit of fun. They're not designed for that. But the ones that clog up most are, are the bagless. Some have coped with big mess tests. I can think of the Henry Hound. That picked everything up without clogging up, but that's a bagged cleaner. With quite a large bag and the power head on that, it's got quite, it's not got restricted, um, restrictive air suction channels. Like some of the power heads are quite small and they've got quite small internal hoses, but the power head, the Henry Hound and the, the Henry Turbo, the one with the, electric head there's a lot of space around the brush and a big air path so they don't really clog up but yes a lot do clog up um, Scott Martin what butter pneumatic George or Henry wash what butter um, I don't eat butter anymore being vegan. I just have a like, sunflower spread or something. Oh, what? I think you mean what's better? Pneumatic George or Henry Wash? It depends if you want a cleaner to do dry pickup as well. If you want an all purpose cleaner that will pick up dry, get the George. If you only need a cleaner for wet pickup and shampooing, get the Henry Wash. So. I'd say the George is better in that respect and the fact that the, uh, the little shampoo tube is built into the shampoo hose and you don't have to clip it to the hose, that's slightly easier. So, George then. Connor Games, when are you doing the SIBO X4 pet review? I don't think I'll do that one. Maybe a retrospect look at it, but it's not a current model, so it would be way, way on the back burner for doing that. How old are Daisy and Molly? I think they're 12 now. What is my fave video, says Henry Hoover. I can't think of a favourite one. I don't like to watch myself. I watch my videos once and then, well, sometimes I have to look at odd videos if I need to refresh my memory, but I hate seeing myself. Um, 
but my f I, the, I will say that what I have I do watch over and over again and sometimes I've even made separate videos where I've taken the segment from a long video and made it separate I personally I enjoy watching the montages I do of a cleaner in action with a bit of a musical soundtrack I like I quite like seeing those again I mean that there's one on my channel that's got the uh, the the Hoover theme tune if you like that uh, uh, that tune uh, so I like that video I could watch that and it's other videos similar that um, show a vacuum in action with a bit of a, a musical soundtrack so I don't have a particular favorite but they're my favorite types hey I finished I think that's good that's good, isn't it? Ah, hmm. It was by top comments, not newest first. So I'm just going to quickly whip through again. I won't have got all your uh, questions. Some of your questions weren't vacuum related. I know I did answer a couple, but some had been answered before, several times before, so I haven't answered those. So I did say when I made the request for you to check what's been asked and try and think of a different question and obviously some people have asked the same question over and over again so I've not bothered answering those again I'm afraid. But I think these all look familiar. I think I've managed. Oh hang on no. Here's one that was missed off. From Gary, hi Roger, my son Alex has cerebral palsy and loves the videos and vacuum cleaners. Thank you for providing so much entertainment. Alex's question is, if you haven't already had this or haven't, if you could vacuum anybody's house, whose house would you choose? Thank you and happy Christmas, says Gary. Well, I don't know. I, I don't think I would specifically want to choose a particular person's house. I would just like to vacuum a really a big modern house with lots of windows you know lots of light very modern interior um, lots of different surfaces to clean hard floors different types of carpet tiled floors laminate floors just a whole mix of different surfaces and a really nice backdrop to make videos you know with a a lovely view in the background huge picture windows several flights of stairs maybe with you know galleried landing so that's the sort I, so it's not one particular person's house it would just be a particular style of house i think really rather than somebody's house i'm not really interested in poking around somebody else's house um so yeah just a, a really big modern house with fantastic views out of the big windows I think just so they'd look so nice when I'm making videos that's uh, that's it right so that one was missed uh, I think I've got them all just, I'm just going through so bear with bear with Oh. Da -da 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 -da. Shall I play some music over this part? I think that's it, folks. As I say, not everyone has had a question answered. It depends on your question. I've had some very good questions. Um, and I've, I've had some questions that have made me go. But uh, yes, among the the normal questions I always get asked, I've had some very interesting ones to answer. So hopefully they've been interesting for you to listen to. Um, so yeah, I think I think that's about it, folks. Sorry if you didn't get your question answered. But I uh, couldn't do every single one. But I did get some very interesting questions. 
Right, that's it. That's it for this series. Phew. That's it for the... Well, I might do another one of these this time next year or next Christmas. I don't know why I just always do them at Christmas. It gives me too much to do. Doing all the kids' shout-outs and then this and then people want me to do Advent videos. Well, we'll see. We'll see how I'm at personally next December, whether I bring back the old Advent series again. We'll see. We'll see if I'm alive. I'm not sure if I will be. Hey Daisy. So thanks for tuning in. Soon be your dinner time, Daisy May. You won't see Molly. She's upstairs in bed, I expect. I've got uh, lots of editing to do now, so we'll see when I can start getting these videos up. Lots of videos coming up. Obviously, if you've saw my uh, Christmas Day unboxing, that's just a sneak peek at some vacuum cleaners coming up this year. Um, but that's just some of them. There'll be a lot more that you haven't seen yet. Uh, I've got a few ideas for themed weeks. Um, Obviously, I brought back Vacuum of the Month, so that's going to be a regular series. But um, you will also be seeing sometime during this year a few themed weeks, not just necessarily themed on one make of vacuum cleaner like I've done in the past, but you might see a themed week of one era of vacuums, a decade of vacuums. Um, Lots of ideas going around in my noggin. Whether or not I can get to do them all is another matter, but there's plenty, plenty of content coming up on iBasic throughout 2022. So I hope you can join me for all my new videos. Even if you don't like them, please watch them. Just don't bother skipping through. Once you see the title and thumbnail, don't think oh, I'm not watching that. Just click on it. Let it play through and go and do something more interesting. It just helps out my channel, please. Um, so that's it. Apologies to anyone I might have offended during the course of the <laughs> Q&A. I know I offend people all the time. Um, don't take it personally, but um, unless I meant to you to take it personally, and I don't think I meant for any of you to take anything I've said as a personal attack on you, I might have got a little bit irked at the question, but not on the person asking it. But anyway, I expect I've lost a lot of viewers and subscribers, but I think I can live with that. We can live with that, Daisy. She's crying. I don't know if the, the microphone's picking up while she's whining. You've got half an hour until I get your foodies, Daisy May. Half an hour. I know you can't tell the time, but it's half an hour. Right, well, talking of foodies, I'm pretty peckish myself, so I'm going to whisk up something delightful in the kitchen and I'll see you all very soon for the next video which could possibly feature a vacuum cleaner of some description. So until then, thanks for watching to the bitter end. Thanks for all your support. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for your comments. And um, thank you for all the nude photographs you've been sending me but I've had to give them to the police because some of them were not very nice. Anyway, until the next time, I love you all. Bye for now.